Hi, Philip Rospoli here, and uh, this is my 27-foot uh, Ocean Master 2008. We've owned it for uh, almost three years uh, when we got it. We put uh, about $32,000 into it, all new electronics, uh, new wiring. Um, actually put more than that in it because we just put a $5,000 uh, GPS Rodan uh, trolling motor so that we can uh, use that instead of using a GPS. I'm just going to give you a walkthrough so that you can see what we got here. It's an extremely clean boat. Uh, I take very good care of it. So I'm just gonna give you a picture of the stern here. You can see I've got twin 150 Evinrudes on there with about 795 hours. I got the boat with 100 hours on it. This is just a video of the bilge. You can see we're incredibly clean. I keep it uh, on dry storage. This is the live well here. This uh, box, I'm a short guy, so I made this box so I can stand on it when I uh, cast net uh, my pilchards and I can dump them right into the box. I'm just gonna put this down. Here's our helm seat. Everything's in excellent condition. As you can see, the helm here, I'm just gonna step on the box. You'll see I've got a pair of 12-inch uh, Simrads. Uh, those are all the NS2s. So these are, that's all the new stuff uh, from two years ago. I've got autopilot in here. All that's brand new. The searchlight I just put on last week. Uh, the Isinglass, that's new uh, about a year ago, a year and a half ago. Um, we've got uh, dual uh, ICOMs in there. Um, you can see I've got a hard top, so it's not a soft top up here. It's beautiful. You've got four rod holders up top. You've got four rod holders on the back. We've got a full JL Audio sound system in here, stereo, and so on. All the, all the right stuff. I'm moving to the bow. I'm just showing you the openness of this. So as you can see, I've got a Rodan trolling motor over there. I'll tell you, we're offshore, uh, 60 miles. I put that down. I could stay right on the spot. I could move five feet in increments. Um, I mean, it just makes my uh, anchor useless. Um, I've got a brand new windlass on there, so that windlass is brand new. Here's the storage. I've got it stuffed, as you can imagine, so I'm, this boat is still being used. Okay, here's the center fish. This is a macerated fish area, and I've got three 36-volt. Uh, There's a 36-volt uh, setup in here, so I've got three um, top-of-the-line batteries uh, sitting in there. Uh, to run it. I could run all day long on anchor and not run out of battery juice. And uh, here's the other. I'll um, just lower this down and then show you. We've got the, the new Lumar, the new Lumar. And that's the brand new Rodan. It's only been used two times that I've been out. Here's what she looks like standing in the bow. That's a brand new light, fully remote control. So we've got the uh, toggle uh, joystick uh, mounted in the helm. And we also uh, have a handheld uh, wireless that we can run that uh, from anywhere. Everything's uh, doubled up. So I've got uh, twin GPS and, down and sounders. I've got uh, twin aerials up there, the highest performance stuff we can get. I'll tell you, here we are inside the cockpit, inside the... Uh, uh, the center console area um, this was redone so when I bought the boat I never even brought it home I brought it right to the original factory at Ocean Master I had them redo wires that were done had everything labeled so you can see in here I've got the three gallon uh, set up for oil so I mean you can run you know two and a half tanks of gas before you have to throw oil in here we've got three high-end batteries that are absolutely in great shape. We've got all the combinations. There's a life raft in here, which you know I will take with me. But you can see this is deep. There's plenty of room in here. You can even put a stand-up head. I mean, this is a very large center console. So I want to give you this uh, quick little update. Show you all the electronics. Let you know that I've taken very, very good care of this. Anybody would be proud to own it. It handles like a dream. Uh, the Ocean Master is absolutely bulletproof. Do your homework on that. Plenty of storage. I added all these side storage for, for um, 
rods and uh, for lures. I got it on both sides. I mean, this is set up for fishing. Um, the outriggers are off. I just took them off last week. I'm starting to have some back problems. That's one of the reasons I'm looking for a bigger boat. Um, so I'm not climbing up and doing outriggers anymore. Um, but uh, all the lights have been replaced to LED, so all of the original stuff is all gone. I've got uh, helm lights. I've even put uh, uh, lights for the, uh, for the side up in the bow here. So this boat's ready to rock. I'll do a little uh, view of the outside as soon as I take it down off the rack, okay? Bye.